On air, online, on mobile. Fox Toledo News at 6.30 starts right now. Lenaway County officials say it's a case of alleged hazing and bullying taken to a scary extreme. Good evening, I'm Sean Hagerty. Here's the news from Monday, March 5th. Two teens who played on the Madison High School football team are accused of sex assault against freshman teammates. Fox Toledo's Allison Brown is on assignment with how technology helped uncover this situation. Madison School District officials say back in January, the alleged inappropriate behavior was uncovered on Facebook. What kind of rumors were you hearing? That there had been some inappropriate touching and contact between members of the football team, some serious hazing. It was more than a prank, obviously. Uh, from the charges, it, was, it went beyond a prank and beyond hazing. And that's why the school and Lenawee County authorities say they had to take action. The sheriff there says the allegations stem back to the summer of 2011 and claims misconduct was happening in the locker room around practice times. And while he won't say what exactly happened because of the ongoing investigation, he says two 17-year-olds are facing five counts each of assault with intent to commit sexual penetration and five counts each of conspiracy to commit those acts. One of the teens faced a judge today in a Lenaway County courtroom and was released on a $1,000 bond for each charge. The superintendent at Madison says the teen was also suspended from school this morning. Meanwhile, the second suspect has not been arrested yet. These are young kids. It's very unfortunate this has happened. I'm disappointed that it's happened. Um, some students are learning some very, very tough lessons right now. Back on January 26th, the Madison School District sent out this letter to parents. In it, it says that they have no tolerance for any kind of behavior like this, and they hope to prevent anything like it from happening in the future. It's nothing that uh, we appreciate. It's certainly not living up to the standards that we set for our students, and it's not the behavior we expect from our students. On assignment, Allison Brown, Fox, Toledo News.